Hey everyone, how are you? My name is Lynn Wilson. Welcome to my channel, welcome to my home. I'm so glad you're here. What's happening? Oh my goodness, it's that time of the year. For some of you, you're so excited. Kids are going back to school. And for some of you, you're just glad that it's a new season in life. If you're like me, it's a new season. We're in our last year of homeschooling. Because of special needs, we go a little bit longer than most people. I love schooling. I've loved everything about September and school and all the rest. And I remember, what was it on uh, You've Got Mail? Something about sharpened pencils like is like a bouquet of flowers in the fall. And that's about how I feel. I love the fall season. One of my coworkers and I were talking and they said, well, what do you like about it? And I said, well, one of the things I like is just it brings structure to my my thought process. Um, even if I'm not personally going to school and needing to buy school, school supplies and school clothing and all that, there's just something to be said for that. I just feel organized. I feel like I'm getting back into routine. Does that make sense? And with that, you know, if you are involved, if you do have kids at home and you are involved in the extracurricular activities or going to school, or maybe you're going back to college yourself or taking classes. And I know some of our followers are teachers, so you've been off for the summer and you're going back in the fall, whatever it might be, maybe it's just a new routine for you. It's a fresh change and it's a new season. So what comes with that sometimes is additional stress. Stress in what way? Well, what am I going to do for food? And I always have a problem because a lot of times I have to be at work between 6.30 and quarter to 7 in the morning. And I'm not an early morning breakfast person. I just don't like to eat as soon as I get up and I don't have a huge commute to work. So it's not like I can get coffee and bagel on the way and kind of munch on it on the way. As well as you don't always want to be spending money heading out the door every time you need a breakfast item. Now they do have things in the store like breakfast cookies and breakfast bars and all kinds of things like that. And they're great. I mean, I, we keep some of those things. We keep peanut butter crackers and Nutri-Grains and granola bars and all that. They're great too. In a pinch, you need something you can grab, go, and you're, you're good. And, um, but what are some other alternatives? So Tonight, we're going to talk about some alternatives for grab-and-go breakfast ideas. Now, I'm doing a collaboration with Dawn from Sensible Living Money Mom. So, I'm going to link her video in the description below. Definitely check out and see what she has to say about grab-and-go breakfast items. And my good friend Jan from Jan from New York City Saves Money is also going to share. We're three women, three different states, three different budgets three different family styles, if you want to say, three different ways of, you know, seeing things and saying things, and also three different women who, as I've watched our channels, have the same thought, like we need to bake a cake, but we go about it three different ways. And that is one of the reasons I'm enjoying the collaborations that I do with them, because it really helps me when I want to do something, you know, I'm kind of in my own routine of things, but then I can get a fresh perspective from someone else. So you've got three great women, myself, Money Mom, and Jan from New York City, and all three of us are talking about the same topic. So as soon as you're done with me, jump over and catch out their videos and see what they have to say as well. So in the beginning of the video, you got to see a little bit of what I did. So I made batch cook those waffles. waffles batch cook them. Why do that? Okay, you saw that I made the waffles. You could eat them great that day. The first day I did that, I put maple syrup and bananas on it and a little butter and it was delicious. But then you can freeze the rest. You can refrigerate them. But if you freeze them, you've made your own Eggo waffles. You know that Lego my Eggo? So you saw them in my toaster. Pop them out. You put them right in the toaster, toast them up, and you've got a quick waffle right there put some butter on it or peanut butter as a matter of fact today I took one just cold as is and I put peanut butter on it took it with me to work and I had it with a cup of coffee hours after I got there because I didn't feel like eating right away it was a quick grab-and-go breakfast I had um, buckwheat is the choice that 
um, I made for these particular waffles. So I had buckwheat waffles with peanut butter. It's great. Now, what can, else can you do? You can do it like a McDonald's McGriddle. You can add maple syrup into the batter, mix that up, cook them up, freeze them up, and then you have like a McGriddle. And if you want to make sandwiches, you can fry your eggs up and freeze them. You can do a sheet pan eggs. If you've never done that, you just whisk all your eggs together. You get a baking sheet or even a Pyrex dish. Pour your eggs in there and just bake it to a thin slice. Cut them up in squares or cut them out with a cookie cutter, you know, if you want circles, if you want them, you know, perfect on those round waffles. You can add a slice of cheese. You can add a sausage patty to that. And then you've got your own McGriddle. You can prep them ahead of time so that you have sandwiches made and put them in the freezer. You can grab bagels and do the same thing or croissants and add bacon and cheese or egg and cheese or any mix that you want. New Jersey here, we would do pork roll and cheese. So any kind of a mixture of a meat, a cheese and an egg. I am not an egg eater, so I would leave the egg off, but you can do anything you want. You, you could, it's your sandwich and um, you can even get the little hummus cups or the little avocado cups and grab one of those and take that with you. That could be a great breakfast and a great lunch. Another thing that I used to do for years with my husband, he was on the road and he'd be getting up early and the same thing, but he'd have to be sort of eating as he was going, is get a pita. Cut the pita in half so you've got half a pita. You stuff that with some scrambled eggs, you're good to go. Scrambled eggs and cheese, you're good to go. Scrambled eggs, cheese, and veggies, some onions and um, peppers or green onions, whatever you want to do. You can scramble that up and scrambled eggs work great. I do this all the time. I scramble up a whole dozen eggs, put them in the refrigerator. They're cooked for the whole week. Fantastic. And if my husband needs, whether it's a snack, a breakfast, lunch, or dinner, scrambled eggs are in the refrigerator and all you have to do is warm them up. It's fantastic. And then at the end of the week, if you have some left over, take those scrambled eggs, add some bacon bits or anything that you want to it. Just plain is fine. Cheese, if you want to add meat or ham or whatever vegetables you might have left over. And you could get tortillas and roll it up and make a nice breakfast burrito. They're fantastic and I've made those for my husband because you can freeze those. They freeze really well and they take one minute in the microwave. So if you need to literally eat as you go, nuke it for one minute while you're making your travel cup of coffee, take that burrito with you, eat it in the car, you're good to go. Or take it out frozen by the time you get to work and it thaws out a wee bit, you put it in the microwave and you're good to go on that as well. I highly recommend you go to like five and below. Even the Dollar Tree sells six disposable cups with the lids for a dollar twenty-five. You know, sometimes maybe even have the disposable cups if you don't have a travel mug that you can make coffee at home and save a few pennies. I know we all like the treat of the fancy coffee shops. I'm the first one to want to go and get that every day if I could, but it does add up five, six dollars a cup of coffee. If you get a grande, then, you know, you're, you're talking big bucks, but maybe, you know, the beginning of the month and the end of the month, you can do a treat for yourself, you know, or, you know, every other week kind of thing. Say, you know what, in two weeks, at the end of the next week, I'm going to treat myself to a nice pumpkin latte or, you know, something for the holiday or whatever the case might be. So you've got your pita bread idea, you've got your waffle idea, and you've got your burrito idea, as well as, you know, there's plenty of other grab and go things like we mentioned. But really, I think my favorite is the waffle idea because the waffle itself is great with just some butter and jam, or you could put butter and pancake syrup, you can put fruit on it, you could put, I have a friend that puts yogurt on her waffle. So you can put yogurt and fruit on it. It's, you can do, use it so many different ways but then you could turn it into a sandwich, which is great. And if you need something nice and hearty, you could add the cheese, the meat, and the egg, and even vegetables if you want, like I said, some guacamole or anything else that you want, some avocado sliced, you can go to town with it. It's your sandwich. You could do whatever you want. You can have a different flavor to it every day of the week by just changing up the meat, 
maybe one day with cheese, one day without, one day with egg, one day without. I hope that's helpful. Grab and go, you know, we all need a grab and go. Even if you're working from home, how many of you get up and you go, oh, my schedule is so full today. I just don't have the time to make a breakfast. Well, if you have something ready made in the freezer, batched cook some eggs or some waffles, you're gonna be good to go. Leave me your grab and go breakfast ideas in the comments below. I'd love to hear what do you do when you're in a pinch and you need to kind of prep ahead or just grab something quickly. Let me know what you do. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to go check out Sensible Living with Money Mom and Jan from New York City Saves Money. See what they have to say as well. We'll catch you all on the next video.